Do all paths lead to God? In the end, don't all religions basically teach the same thing? Does it even matter as long as you're sincere? In this short video, I'm going to help you learn how to respond and think through that challenge with clarity and confidence. Hey everyone, Jonathan Morrow here, where I give you tools and training to understand culture and live out a biblical worldview. If you're finding these videos helpful, it would really help me out if you could like and subscribe and share this with a friend that really helps me spread the word and get this important teaching to more and more people. So there you are, you find yourself in a conversation, your friend, a professor, a coworker brings up, well, you know what, in the end, don't all religions basically teach the same thing? How do you respond to a claim like that. How do you think through that carefully? In this video, that's what we're going to talk about. Let's dive in. Don't all religions basically teach the same thing? In the end, all paths lead to God. Now, what about this claim? Now, another thing that I want to help you understand and think about as we, that's really important is you need to do two things whenever you engage other people and they make claims about other worldviews or in spiritual conversations and all that that's going to put you at ease and it's going to help you have productive spiritual conversations. The first one is learn to define your terms and learn to ask questions. Okay, So try not to make a bunch of statements at the beginning of conversations you have. Instead, ask questions. So what's a question that we could ask here that would help clarify this issue for us? Well, the first one is simply this. Well, in what way are all religions basically the same? So before you do all the work of giving them 38 reasons why it's not, just turn it around and ask them, okay, well, in what way are all religions basically the same? Because what's happened, whether you're in a college classroom, English class, philosophy class, YouTube, TikTok, wherever you happen to be at the moment, this is a common claim that most people have not really thought about. And so what you can do in that conversation is you can give them the gift of going, all right, in what way exactly are all religions basically the same? Okay, that's the first thing. <clears throat> and the second thing is you want to give them an illustration. And this is an illustration that I found to be helpful that you can share in response to this question. And it's simply this. It's the who's waiting for you at the top of the mountain illustration. Okay. So here, let's just take this question of God. Do all paths lead to God? Well, let's take a couple different religions and let's just look at it, okay? Let's take Buddhism, Hinduism, and Christianity. So do they end up at the same mountaintop? Now what's interesting, when you study and look at the world's great religions and the world's major religions, you'll find that you will find some similar teachings in the foothills as you climb up the mountain. And what do I mean by that? Most religions will have some general idea of good and evil, some version of the golden rule, do unto others, good for, you know, do good, things like that, in the area of ethics, okay? General ethics. But, and, and by the way, should we expect that? Yes. Why? Romans 2, 14 and 15 says the law is written where? On our heart. So we would expect that people, no matter where they are, all around the world, would have some sense of right and wrong that they're trying to wrestle with and navigate the world with. And that gets expressed through different religions, okay? So that's not surprising to us at all as Christians, okay? But the further you go up this mountain, that's where it gets interesting because that's where you're going to find all the different teachings about God, reality, sin, salvation, heaven, hell, whether it exists or not. All of those things, that's where the differences are. And when you get to the top, literally, who's waiting for you at the top of the mountain? Well, in Buddhism, it's generally an atheistic religion. There literally is no God waiting for you at the top of the mountain. In Hinduism, God is impersonal, and there's thousands of gods that ultimately end up being impersonal. And in Christianity, you've got a triune God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, right? Three persons, one God. And there are literally different gods waiting for you at the top of the mountain. So when someone says, in the end, all religions basically lead to the same thing or lead to God, what you can help them see is, no, there might be some general things in the foothills, but the further you go up the mountain, it's very different in regards to what it teaches about God, reality, salvation, and really, honestly, the big questions of life that we're trying to wrestle with, right? So here in a little while, and you maybe have already started thinking about it, you're going to have some food, some lunch. Would you put both of these things on your food? How many of you are like all in? You sure, I'll throw both of these things on there. 
Anybody? When I teach students, they're like, yep, especially my guys. They're like, yep, throw it on there. You know, I'm like, maybe. And then everybody else is like, maybe I want, anybody else want a little more information? Let's get a little more information. Okay. So maybe, maybe let me clarify. <clears throat> we can do table salt or we can do cyanide. Now, does that change the equation for anybody uh, on this, right? So yeah, why? Because look, the differences matter far more than the similarities do. Okay, is it a white granular substance? Yes. But the nature of it is very different when you get to the particulars of it. And that's the same way when it comes to religious claims about ultimate reality and God and salvation and as well. Now, Stephen Prothero, he's a professor at Boston University, uh, not a Christian, not, not, not a religious person, but he wrote a book called God is Not One. Now, notice what he said. He says, look, no one argues that different economic systems or political regimes are one and the same. Capitalism and socialism are so obviously at odds that their differences hardly bear mentioning. The same goes for democracy and monarchy, right? Very different. Yet scholars continue to claim that religious rivals such as Hinduism and Islam, Judaism and Christianity are, by some miracle of the imagination, essentially the same. And this view resounds in the echo chamber of pop culture, right? So, to this question, do all religions basically teach the same thing? We would say no. The first thing you want to do is learn to ask good questions. So, well, in what way are they all basically the same? Well, they all have, they teach good things about right and wrong. Okay, what else? You know, and then the further you go up the mountain, you see very different truths emerge or truth claims emerge about the nature of God, reality, and everything else. All right?